Leto Atreides II, known to the universe as the God Emperor, ruled over all of mankind from 10205 AG to 13724 AG. Throughout his 3,000 year rule, Leto had oppressed mankind. In his totalitarian regime, travel between planets was prohibited for the vast majority of the imperial inhabitants. Throughout the empire, the people lived in similar homes and lived similar lives. There was no progress, and people were not free to seek out their own desires as they had once been. They had peace, or at least the sense of it, but no liberty. When Leto II died, so did his empire. Humanity was plunged into the famine times. For so long men had relied upon the God Emperor for all of their needs. In this time, the natural resources of many planets were plundered, technologies dismantled and repurposed. The scarcity during these times led to a lot of human suffering, but for the first time in millennia, mankind was free to choose its own destiny. Mankind was also wary of another emperor such as Leto the Tyrant. As a result of the famine times and the fear of another tyrant, they looked to the stars. Many chose to flee the old empire into the far reaches of space. They traveled further than any humans before them. Many different groups sent representatives into the scattering, including the Bene Gesserit and the Bene Tleilax. This, of course, was all part of the God Emperor's golden path. He knew that limiting the freedom of people during his reign would lead to an explosion of human migration across the universe once he was dead. This spreading of humanity would ensure humankind's survival in the long run. Also, the scattering would spread the no gene that Leto had created in Siona Atreides. This gene would prevent some humans from being seen in the prescient view. Therefore, the great enemy which Leto saw would use prescience to find and destroy all humans could never succeed. But Leto not only meant for humankind to scatter physically throughout the cosmos, he also wanted their ideologies to diverge, their technologies and cultures as well. Leto knew that humankind needed to diversify itself because a stagnant humankind would have no chance at all at defeating the great enemy should it appear. Evolution was necessary. Still, the golden path was cruel, and Leto knew that should the enemy appear, many humans would die regardless, but he gave men the ability to hide. Let them scatter, Duncan. Let them run and hide anywhere they want, in any universe they choose. During the famine times, no ships also came into existence. No ships were space vessels designed by the Ixians containing technology based on the same mechanics as Leto's Dictatel, the device he used to secretly record his journals, and also the No Room, which the Ixians used to raise Wee Nori beyond Leto's prescient eye. No Rooms had the ability to cloak those inside from the prescient view. It is likely that Leto II foresaw the invention of no rooms and no ships, and subtly encouraged their development in order to provide another layer of protection for mankind if the great enemy did arise in the future. Though many chose to remain within the bounds of the old empire, an immeasurable number of humans fled into the cosmos, and for 1500 years, the people of the old empire heard nothing of the lost ones. In that time, the old empire would be reshaped, and new and strange groups would develop among the lost ones in the scattering. Eventually one of these groups, the honored Matres return out of the scattering, having fled some mysterious enemy which had decimated their own empire. The Matres were a result of the intermingling between the Bene Gesserit and Leto's fish speakers. They in essence were a more ruthless version of the Bene Gesserit but without the Sisterhood's Pranabindu's skills and access to other memories. The Honored Matre sought to dominate the Old Empire by force. It is not clear in the original saga whether or not the great enemy that Leto foresaw was in fact the enemy that the Honored Matres fled out of the scattering. 
In God Emperor of Dune, it is revealed that Leto feared that the Ixians would create Arathel, the cloud darkness of holy judgment, a biblical reference relating to God making judgment over all mankind. It appears that Leto feared the creation of a machine, one that mankind could not keep in check, a machine god, one that would possess prescient vision and use it to hunt humankind to extinction. It is possible that the Ixians that did go into the scattering created such a machine. Ixians at work outside the bounds of the Imperium would not even have to keep up the pretense of working within the bounds of the Butlerian Jihad. And it was perhaps that machine that conquered the Empire of the Honored Matres and now threatens all of mankind. This is of course speculation. The expanded Dune books by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson provide a resolution to this which I have covered in this video focusing on the Honored Matres. It involves the Matres encountering the remnants of the Machine Empire and facing its wrath. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, and for more Dune videos, check out the Dune playlist on my channel.